Hi guys, I'm Jay, or better known as Unfamiliar from the TGC forums. Um, I've been around for quite a while on the forums. I haven't really made uh, ripples as such. Uh, however, I just thought I'd uh, be able to give back to the forums somewhat for the newer members and make a couple of tutorial videos showing them how to make their own models, how to texture them, animate them, obviously animate later down the line. Um, but yeah, just basically start out making a couple of basic models and how to texture them. So, uh, I mainly use open source software, uh, i.e. I use Blender, just because it's great for modeling, texturing, animating, just absolutely everything I use it for. I also use GIMP for texturing, again, nice open source free software. Um, so, I'm going to put links in the description, a lot of you have probably already got your own your own 3D so uh, softwares, but I can imagine if you're watching this beginner's tutorial, you're going to need to learn on the same one the tutorial person's giving. So, uh, go to blender.org, be able to download the latest obviously here, 2.7. Uh, I haven't actually updated yet, I, there's no reason why, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, GIMP, GIMP.org, again you can download the latest, 2.8, I am on the latest of that, so I feel quite cool. Uh, the other piece of software that I use, which is again completely free, is uh, has been developed by a member of the FPSC Classic forums. Uh, this guy very generously developed this software that lets you import your models as DirectX models and show them textured, so you can actually see your model textured in proportion to a chap that's that's stood there so you can sort of gauge the size. I'll show you what it is already. So this is Entity Workshop version 2.0 as you can see it's the latest version on his site anyway. So this is it. It's really really basic but it's absolutely perfect for what you need. Um, so yeah you can import models and you can see it this is the size of an NPC uh, in FPSC, whether it's classic or reloaded, it always works because the, the dimensions are always the same. So anyway, that's another free piece that I use very often just for reference of size. So I started this thread uh, just to see what sort of models people might be interested in doing, what they might be interested in learning, whether it's mainly the modeling side or whether it's the texturing or animating or just importing it into FPSC. So, um, I came up with these two ideas here, the, co the bog standard concrete pillar, obviously great for outdoor stuff, for blocking areas off, you'll be able to put this sort of thing down at the end of a road and put up some invisible walls so the character can't get any further. Or maybe an interior thing, uh, a pillar, obviously the bit of the wire mesh coming through, looks quite nice, probably a bit too advanced, but I've opted for the concrete pillar because it's a nice basic sort of shape it's just a couple of a couple of loop cuts just to get this shape going uh, and then a little bit of extra here just so you can people pick it up to be honest this isn't the most advanced shape it does need the sort of cutouts here where it can be lifted with a forklift that one little ring wouldn't be able to support the weight of all of this typically they have holes in the middles whereas they would thread chains through and the thing can be lifted up by a crane uh, and usually they're joined together so they've got the sort of those sorts of rings one there and one there and then the same again on the other side they're placed next to each other and a bar is jutted down through those things just to link them together so this is quite an inaccurate reference image that just used it just because it gets the basic idea there uh, and as you can see someone's commented underneath saying I've already started this guy's got it right he's got the cutout so the forklift can lift them um, so, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for the tutorial series. Um, so, in between now and then, why don't you go onto blender.org, download Blender, get GIMP, get it all installed, familiarize yourself with the UI, what it all looks like, get Entity Workshop, you will thank me for this, like you will thank the developer. It's a fantastic bit of kit, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, so, I'm going to leave that one here, and... I will move on to the next tutorial which will actually be modeling the basic mesh of this um, and just making it look generally nice 
So I will catch you on the next one and I'll see you then.